What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life Vegas. Coming to you guys with a very timely video that I think you guys are going to like because a lot of people are interested in Vegas and seeing what's going on around here. And we're going to talk about some things that have changed in the hotels and casinos and their operations uh, here since the grand reopening um, just a few days ago. So we're going to talk about 10 things that have changed in the Las Vegas casino operations since the grand reopening. So be sure to subscribe because you know I got all kinds of great content coming in the future. And let's jump into this. Some of these things are going to be things that people might appreciate or they might like, say you're positive or good. Some people are probably going to find annoying. They might say they're negative things. Some are neutral. Uh, but one thing I will say is of all these things I'm about to list, uh, I have not seen one casino or one property do all of these. And actually, I really don't think you're going to find one in Las Vegas who's going to do all of these things I'm about to list. A lot of them have just taken different approaches to how they do some of these things. And I'll talk about that as I go through this list of top 10. But these are just some of the things that I've noticed that these casinos have changed since they've reopened. The first way that Las Vegas casinos have changed since reopening, and actually let's uh, get out this first one out of the way. It's a really positive one that pretty much everyone's going to like, and that is free parking, right? Complimentary parking is back here on the Las Vegas trip. If you guys follow me on uh, my Instagram, Jacob's Life in Vegas, you saw I posted that the other day when I went to the Bellagio. They had the sign that said complimentary parking. I uh, jokingly put in that almost brought a tear to my eye seeing free parking come back to Las Vegas. So the first thing that has changed with the grand reopening here of Las Vegas is free parking is back here on the strip. The second change you'll see in casino operations here in Las Vegas since the grand reopening are temperature checks. This is something that had been talked about, you know, during the shutdown. A lot of people knew this was coming um, when it came to these casinos, but there's a few different ways I'm seeing this be done. Really three that I've seen so far uh, just in the few days that we've been reopened. Uh, one way I'm seeing is when you even get to the door of the casino, okay? I see this at Wynn and Encore, and then Venetian Palazzo's been doing this too. For everybody who comes through that door, they're doing the, um, using the uh, thermal technology to read your, um, to read your temperature. All right, the new entry to the Wynn, you have to get your temperature checked here, and they offer you a mask if you want to come on in. And now a lot of people are concerned about, hey, when you're in the uh, summertime in Las Vegas, it gets hot, right? 108, 110 plus degrees, all that kind of stuff. And you're gonna walk inside, and you know, obviously your body's gonna be hot from being outside. Um, the other day, that's what it was. It was 102 degrees or something outside. I walked into the Encore. They, um, Scan your, they scan your temperature the second you walk in the door at the Encore anyway, the one at Encore do. Right when you walk in, they scan it. They actually had to have me wait a minute because I think they said my temperature was uh, 101 degrees or something like that, or 103. So they had to give, have me wait a minute to cool down. And then it came back, it was just fine. Anything, I believe it's over 100.4, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the number. Anything over that, you're not supposed to be allowed inside the property. So that's one way I've seen it done, is the second you walk in the casino, they scan you. They check your heat to see, you know, how hot your temperature is. The second way I've seen it done is really, is really just with uh, hotel guests staying there. So anybody can walk in and out of the casino, but the hotel guests are the ones that get checked. So I've seen at the Flamingo, they use the same thing. It looks like you're going through a metal detector. That's actually just, uh, again, the thermal technology they use when you're in line to check in for registration. So as you come here to registration, they are doing... Uh, the guy says, stand here for a non-invasive temperature check. So they are checking temperatures as you pass through here before you come on in. Uh, I was also told when you leave, when you check out, you're supposed to go get your temperature checked again. But at the Flamingo when I left, they just took my room key and said, you're good to go. So I don't know. And then the third way I've seen them do it is you're at the check-in desk. This is how the Golden Nugget was doing it. They actually take the device, put it up you know, to your head, and actually scan your temperature that way. So I've seen it done three different ways at different properties. Um, you know, the most, seems like the most secure way is the way the Wynn and Encore and the Venetian Palazzo are doing it, where they used to do everybody right when they walk in. Because if you're just doing hotel guests, it seems kind of strange that you would check the hotel guests, but you have all these other people coming in and out of the casino who are intermingling with the hotel guests. So I'm not sure how effective it is if you just do with hotel guests. But you are seeing temperature checks at some casinos here when you walk in at the... Uh, let's see, Treasure Island, you could just walk right in, there were no temperature checks. Bellagio, same thing. Cosmo, same thing, you just walk right in, there were no temperature checks if you were just coming in the casino. So Flamingo, same way. Um, Golden Nugget was the same way. So they just, some places are doing everybody, some are just doing guests. So that's just how the casinos are operating. The third way casinos have changed since the reopening is you will see all employees wearing masks. Okay, in Nevada, the state, 
Uh, Nevada does not mandate masks for you know the general public. You'll see most of the guests, I've seen most of the people coming in and out of the casinos do not wear masks. I've seen most of the customers, I should say. Most of the customers I have not seen wearing masks. The employees are all wearing them. But as far as customers coming in and out or hotel guests actually staying there, the majority I have seen are not wearing a mask and that's just not you know mandated. Some places offer you masks. I've seen the Flamingo will offer people a mask when they're coming in. The Win and Encore will offer people masks when they're coming in. So some places will offer it to you or they might you know request that you wear it, but it's not mandatory for customers to wear it, but it is mandatory for staff to be wearing masks. The fourth thing you'll notice at the uh, hotels and casinos here in Las Vegas are new guidelines posted all over the place when you get inside these properties. Guidelines, uh, just when you're checking in at the front desk, you might see guidelines for when you're going to the pool. You might get like at the Golden Nugget, they gave me three pages of paperwork of all their new guidelines and steps they're taking to keep the place clean and sanitary and things you can do as a customer or you know as a um, as someone staying at the hotel during your time there. So you'll see lots of new guidelines posted around, lots of uh, things like that when you're inside these casinos. So they'll give you an idea of things they're doing to try to keep you safe and things that they want you to do or want you to be aware of. The fifth change in operations you'll see at some of these casinos uh, is that when you go to the front desk to check in, uh, oftentimes, this was the case when I went to the Golden Nugget, they will not touch your credit card and your ID at the front desk which means it's gonna to be tougher to pull off that $20 trick that so many people like to use when they come to Las Vegas to try to get a room upgrade. So I talked about that in my video where I did a, um, a vlog or showed you know what was going on at the Golden Nugget the first day of reopening here in Las Vegas. And yeah, I wasn't really able to do the $20 trick like you normally could where you just have the money between your card and ID and you hand it to the person at the desk because they wouldn't, they wouldn't touch it. They would not touch someone else's credit card and ID. So. It made it tougher to pull off the $20 trick. You can still do it. You can still, you know, ask them and tip them at the front, but it's just not going to be the normal process that you've seen. So some people are probably going to find that, uh, you know, a little weird, or a little awkward, or, you know, it's just not something they're used to seeing in Las Vegas. That is one of the changes you have seen, or I have seen here in Las Vegas. They won't touch your card and ID. So you have to figure out a new way to try to pull off that $20 trick. The sixth change you will notice here in the uh, Vegas casinos operation is that you will see more staff cleaning more frequently. Um, I saw just when I was staying at the Golden Nugget, uh, that first day they were reopening, I saw at the front desk, at the registration desk, every time a guest checked in and they left, the next guest, before the next guest could come up, you know, whoever was working the desk, stop, get a spray bottle, spray the counter, wipe it down in between every single person checking in. You go to the pool, you'll see the, li the lifeguards going around, same thing, bottle of spray, towel, spraying down handrails, wiping them down, the handrails that people use to get in and out of the pool. A lot more cleaning going on around the property, on the casino floor, on the hotel side of operations. So that's another one you're gonna notice, you're gonna see a lot more staff cleaning more frequently. And as a bonus, casinos offer to their members, or I should say to their customers when they're inside the casino, are the sanitation stations. So you'll see this in some casinos. Um, maybe all of them have it. I'm, I haven't noticed. I've noticed the Golden Nugget has it and definitely the Bellagio have it, where they have sanitation stations inside the casino, so on the floor of the casino. So if any guest wants to just walk up, wash their hands real quick while they're on the casino floor in between playing or whatever the case is, then hey, they have sanitation stations available for you in the casinos here in Vegas. The seventh change in casino operations you've seen and this one came from the flamingo when i stayed there the other day when i was checking in, i noticed they said uh, the frequency of housekeeping has changed now it's funny because i just mentioned how you know you'll see staff cleaning more frequently around the property but when it comes to housekeeping frequency that has changed where they may not be coming and cleaning your room as frequently as housekeeping used to or you see you get like a notification saying um that if you want your trash removed or you want fresh towels or something like that, it's only going to be upon request. So when you're staying in your hotel for you know more than a night, you have to request those things from housekeeping versus before where the housekeeping would just do those on a regular basis. The eighth change in Las Vegas casino and hotel operations here is when you go to a restaurant, a lot of them now, and some of, you know, this technology's been around for a while, it's nothing new. But when you want to see the menu now, a lot of times they'll have you scan the barcode they have at the front door and you can pull up a menu on your phone. This was at uh, Carlos and Charlie's inside the Flamingo and I went to eat there. They said, hey, you can either scan the barcode here that we have, you know, just on our sign at the front. You can see the menu on your phone, which I did. Or they said, if you want, you can sit down and we can still bring you a physical menu. So if you're someone who's really concerned about, obviously, the spread, 
you know, of these germs and things like that, and you don't want to touch a physical menu, you can just scan, use the barcode scan on your phone, scan it, look at the menu on your phone, and just order with your server right there. You don't even have to touch a menu. The ninth change in Las Vegas casino operations and hotels, this came from Chick-fil-A the other day when I was at Chick-fil-A leaving the uh, Golden Nugget. And this is a Chick-fil-A and the Golden Nugget. This is not Chick-fil-A on the Strip. So again, this can vary from place to place. Is when you're paying for your food uh, and you're gonna use cash, you actually have to pass your money through a tray. Like the staff member will put a tray out there on the counter, you put your money in the counter and they slide the tray about 12 inches towards them. So they can, you know, take your money, put your change back, they'll put it back in the tray and slide it back towards you. So you don't, I guess, risk touching each other, risk interacting in that way. So when you're paying for something here, you may have to be sliding it back and forth in a tray when you're ordering your food at certain places. The 10th change you'll notice here in Las Vegas, and this is one that people knew was coming with this virus. This has been taking place all over the country, different places, but our limits on capacity in certain aspects of these venues and these hotels and how they operate. You'll see things like in restaurants, you'll see, you know, people can only sit at every other table inside a restaurant. When it comes to casinos, you'll see maybe every other slot machine is on, the other half of them are turned off, or you may have seen at the Golden Nugget that if they had four slot machines in a row, the outer two would be on, the middle two would be off, so that way people don't sit too close to each other. See blackjack tables, a lot of times only three players at a blackjack table, they have three chairs and that is it. Um, the Bellagio Conservatory, you go in there, they have it roped off now where you have to actually, there's only one entrance point and one exit point. And they have a person keeping track at each entrance and exit, they have a person keeping track of how many people are in there. And I asked when I was in the Bellagio and they said 55 people is the most they're allowing right now in the conservatory at one time. So you go in, you just follow the rope. It's kind of like said, getting in line for a ride at Disneyland. You follow that along. Once you walk out, they count that you're out and they let more people inside because they want to keep it to a lower capacity. If you go to pools, right? A lot of the pools, they have less day beds, less places to sit than they did before. They're more spaced out. And when you go to the pools, you're not allowed to move any of the seats. You're not allowed to move anything like that. They have to stay where they're at because they have to adhere to those new strict capacity guidelines that they're trying to, you know, try to keep people from not getting sick again. And your bonus for operations or changes in operations you've seen here in Las Vegas since the grand reopening are the plexiglass dividers. This is one that a lot of people were talking about as the casinos were getting ready to reopen because people had heard that some places were going to be implementing these, whether it was downtown, whether it was on the strip, but certain places are implementing plexiglass dividers. They have them there. The Bellagio is the one that stands out in my mind the most because they had them at the bars, they had them at the uh, blackjack tables, they had them all over the place, it seemed like in the casino. So again, some places I've seen have them, other places I've seen, they don't have them, they're not using them, they're not implementing them. So again, it's just the level of precaution. Some places are being really cautious with it and they're doing everything, you know, everything that they think is gonna be the best way. In other places, they either deemed it, you know, they don't think it's gonna be helpful, they don't think it's gonna be useful. So they said, hey, we're not gonna implement that. So these are 10 things, really like 11 or 12 I gave you, that these casinos have changed since the grand reopening. Like I said, you will not find all of these inside one casino. Certain places do some, certain places do others. But those are things you can expect when you come here on your Las Vegas vacation to be different. Vegas is open, you can gamble, you can do all, a lot of stuff you could before, not shows yet or nightclubs or strip clubs or anything like that. That stuff's not open, but the hotels are open, pools are open, gambling's open, the Bellagio fountains are running. So there's stuff here to keep you entertained if you wanna come on your Vegas vacation, but there are going to be some changes in the operations. Some are gonna be very obvious that you're gonna see, others may not be so obvious, but just be prepared when you come back, there's gonna be some changes you're gonna to have to go through when you come on your Vegas vacation. So subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for checking out this video. If you guys wanna see another cool video about Vegas, click right over there. That's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys in that video. I am Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.